Hi, my name is Colin McNaughton. I'm a technical marketing manager for the Ansible automation platform here at Red Hat, and I do a lot of work with event-driven Ansible. Now, I, I do a lot of event-driven Ansible at my job, that work for my job, but I also do some of that at home to some extent. So for instance, I run a Minecraft server for my kids, and I want to be able to respond to events happening within that world with some automated action, which can be kind of fun. Now another thing that I wanted to use Event Driven Ansible for was NextDNS. So if you're unfamiliar with NextDNS, it's a DNS provider, but then they also have a lot of ad blocking and parental control features. So I can say, um, um, hey, you can't use YouTube when you told me you were going to be doing your homework and things like that. Or if you have a very, uh, if you have a smart TV, it's fun to see exactly how chatty they are talking to absolutely everything outside of your house. Now, um, a while ago, maybe a year or two ago, the, uh, NextDNS created or uh, released a public API. Now, it's a beta version, but I use it a lot. So I can create new profiles and every nested object under a profile file you can configure it but then I saw this stream logs in real time with server sent events so I can see all of my DNS activity by profile that's happening within my house and see what's being blocked and etc etc so I thought it would be cool to use these logs as events within event driven Ansible and so that is exactly what I did I used a uh, custom source plugin for event driven Ansible that I wrote here. I'm using the asynchronous server sent event client library to subscribe to that endpoint. Now the endpoint I really just needed to specify in the profile ID for that specific next DNS profile and then also my API key. So what does this look like in an event driven Ansible rulebook? Well, Pretty simple. So I'm able to load the NextDNS source plugin here. I pass in my profile ID and my API key. Now these are just loaded from an external VARS file, um, so I don't have to show you my API key. Nice try. Uh, then I have just one rule that I'm using within this rule book, and it operates on the condition of, well, if there is a new event whose status is blocked, show me or run this at sp this particular action. In this case, I just run a playbook. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm not really doing anything special with it except for debugging the event. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's see if we can put this into practice. So here's my Ansible rulebook command here. Um, I'm passing it the path to my rulebook. I'm also passing the path to my inventory file. Now this is just localhost because this is like an API to API interaction here and so nothing special. I'm also passing in that vars file where my API key is. Uh, the dash s flag tells Ansible rulebook where to find my next DNS source plugin, which is just in the local directory. And then finally, I'm printing all the events. Now, print events kind of shows all the DNS queries coming in or DNS logs coming in, but I only want to act on blocked logs. So um, you'll see everything printed, but not everything handled by event driven Ansible. And that's because I only want the blocked ones. So let's uh, execute that command and see what happens. Um, first, let me make some traffic happen. Well, actually, you can see the connection here. Um, it was able to pull statistics for this particular profile, so it has total number, number of queries and then the number of blocked queries in there. And then also in the background, it looks like we have our first blocked query. So this event, this uh, data here, is the event coming from NextDNS. Now, um, uh, because it was YouTube uh, and YouTube is set to be blocked, we have a status of blocked. And for that reason, we generated some action here, which was to run that debug playbook. Let's uh, give it some additional queries here in this log and see, make sure that not everything is being blocked or acted upon. So here we have another domain. Uh, this is Hacker News. Obviously, that's not going to be blocked because Hacker News is awesome. Um, and there was no response, no Ansible playbook run. And again, if I just refresh YouTube in the background, you'll see a bunch of things coming through as blocked. And that's exactly what we expect. So there it is. That is a way that you can use server sent events coming from NextDNS uh, logs and feed that information into event driven Ansible to automate the response to all these different DNS uh, events that are happening within your environment. I'm looking at you, smart TV that won't stop talking to everything. Thank you.